How? Who are you? Who are you? You thought you knew who you were. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no, uh, no, no. It's too early. Hello? Yeah, 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 no, no, I'm here, I'm here, yeah, I'm here. Um, no, I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to get ready. Yeah. So who do I remind you of? Honestly, you're like an extra annoying version of me. You still just see yourself, don't you? Well, we look the same. I mean, you're my reflection in the mirror. You still don't get it. How can I show you if you can't see it for yourself? You've been annoying me all day. I know my reflection when I see it. So who are you trying to be? I am merely just a symbol or a pawn in your destiny to help you redirect. What does that even mean? Well, you seemed to forget what Christ looks like. But I already know who Christ is. I know about God and all that spiritual stuff. Yet you act as if Christ doesn't work in you or through you. You must have forgotten how Christ works in you. <laughs> I know how Christ works in me. You go to church, pray every once in a while. Tell me, am I missing something? You're missing that getting to know Christ involves more of a daily act. What do you mean by that? When I wake up, I say, thank you, God, for, you know, waking me up. But it's not like I do it all the time. What I mean is understanding Christ is a choice, a choice to read, a choice to seek. Understanding who Christ is when life is good or when life is bad. But when life is going good, there's no reason for me to want anything from Christ. When I'm having a bad day, I feel like that's the only time I should say, Hey, big man, could you help me out with this one? I mean, why should I choose Christ with all this crap going on out there? Where? Out there, bruh. Well, that's a bigger question, and I can try to answer that later. But you know what the Word of God says. Many hardships and complexing circumstances confront the righteous. But the Lord is there to rescue all who are discouraged. 
who have given up hope. Honor the Lord with me. Celebrate his great name. Psalms 34. Honor. Sounds like another way of saying worship or praise the Lord, like the typical church. Have you seen the news? I don't really get it. What's the point of praising? It takes strong faith in God to let him work in you and through your life daily, but it's all to help you control your sinful nature. God wants to use you to show his love. You are called to be Christ-like. So regardless of the situations in life, you are always supposed to look like Christ so others can see his reflection in you. Seriously, are you saying that regardless of how I feel about a situation, my decisions and actions should reflect how Christ would react? Sounds like you get it now. All I wanted you to see was to reflect God, to reflect greatness in you. Oh my gosh. You could have led with that, bruh. You got me here talking to freaking mirrors all morning. You're prop. You're not even there anymore. Typical. God puts situations in our life so he can reach out to us. Many times we act as if God doesn't exist, but just as we see our reflection in the mirror, we should be a reflection of God to the rest of the world. Reflect God, reflect greatness.